What's up YouTube, this is DWS Darius and this is going to be another episode of Amazing Fish. And today's Amazing Fish, the Striped Silver Dollar. Okay YouTube, so today we are in a 125 gallon South American Dean fish tank. Um, this tank features all fish coming from South America, but today the fish that I'm focusing on is the striped silver dollar. Okay, so I'm going to try to focus on these silver dollars as much as I can, but it's just really distracting with all these geophagists that just love attention, and the fact that silver dollars are pretty shy fish. But um, right here is the larger of the two that I currently keep. This guy is about four and a half inches, almost at full size. These striped silver dollars can reach a full size of about 5 to 6 inches and I find that they just are very beautiful fish. Um, if I could give you a little side shot, these fish are startled pretty easily so I don't want to spook them but look at this geophagus just all in front of the camera. But um, you can see just that nice stripe on the side compared to the other silver dollars you come across. This is just a very beautiful look. And then also at the bottom he has that nice little red hook. And just his overall body shape compared to the other fish, look how much he sticks out. Definitely a beautiful fish and he's just amazing. Okay, so the main reason why I love these fish is just because of the way they look. They are definitely a very odd and beautiful looking fish. Now, to all these geophagus jumping in front of the camera. But um, other than the way this fish looks, I also just love the fact that this is a schooling fish. And I find these fish very similar to some of your small tetra. Now, you can see I have some lampi tetra right there. But um, if you've ever kept neon tetras, if you've ever kept um, just any type of tetra, the same way they really stick together, the same way they really have that bond, I find that these silver dollars also have the same bond with each other, so that's why it's best to keep them in decent number of schools. Now, currently I only have two because these fish are a bit pricey. However, I do plan to strengthen this school because um, they just really rely on each other, and that's the second re reason why I love them. They stick together, and um, they're just very active when you have a decent number. And um, so to go along with that beauty, when you keep them in decent schools, they also can put on quite a show. Okay, so when it comes to caring for the striped silver dollar, there are a few things you want to remember. One of which, which may be the most important, is just that these are schooling fish that depend highly upon each other. So you want to keep at least four or more. Currently, as I said before, I only have three, well, two of these stripes, but I'm going to increase soon. But um, it's very important to keep that school. It just helps build their confidence. It helps make them more active and just a better, it's better suited for them. Another thing to consider is that these fish are highly prone to ick disease. So it's bad when any fish catches ick. However, these fish and the ick disease is just a nightmare. I've seen these silver dollars just completely covered with ick um, to the point where you can't even see their normal color. All you see is white. So these fish can just catch ick very easily. So you want to be very cautious when it comes to adding fish into your aquarium. If necessary, quarantine some of your fish. Just you definitely don't want to have your silver dollars come. These geophagus are just relentless, but you don't want to have any um any situation where it meets your silver dollars because it can become a nightmare. Um, other than that, these fish can be spooked, as I said before, pretty easily. So you want to watch how you interact with the tank. Stay away from bumping the glass. Um, and if you keep just a decent number, you really don't have to be too cautious, but when you have fewer numbers, they are very timid, so you want to just watch how you, how active you are around them. Don't be too loud, don't be too rough, so that you can enjoy them the most. Okay, so these fish are omnivores, so that's very important because while they will accept most foods offered to them, they will eat live plants. Now, I've been lucky to keep some java fern. However, before when I first started keeping silver dollars, I added them to my planet tank and they just tore through my Anubias, they tore through my Amazon swords. So these fish will definitely tear down on some live plants, so you want to be cautious when adding different types of plants with these guys. Um, and just for tank mates, these fish, as I said before, can reach 5 inches. And I pretty much see them with many different types of fish. Um, they have really tiny mouths if you look closely, so you don't have to worry about them eating small fish. So they can go with small fish and because they reach 5 inches, they, I've seen them good with tanks with peacock basses, with um, just other large fish. So when it comes to tank mates, these fish have just a wide variety of tank mates that they can live with. Um, I find that these fish are great dither fish. Maybe if you have a shy cichlid or something, these fish work great because they're not 
um, they stay to themselves so they won't really have too many problems with those larger fish and just overall silver dollars, these striped silver dollars are just very awesome fish to take care of. These fish are very beautiful as I said before and when you keep them in a the decent environment, when you keep them in a good group, they really are just entertaining fish. Okay YouTube, so that has been a look at the striped silver dollar. Right now I currently have two but expect more to come because these fish are just very enjoyable, very beautiful and um, just awesome fish. So as always, thank you all for watching. If you have any qualm, comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you want more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And that will be all.